the great wine press of the wrath of power. Right? And the wine press. And hey, is it is it not funny? Hey, the irony of it. The Lord is referring it to a wine press. And when you get and when you get second and just nine and tw uh, tw uh, twenty two, what did he say? A grape from the cup. The, the blood of the grape. Is that not what they used to make wine? Right. You, you, you see, you don't understand the scriptures, man. They don't even understand what is going on. You see, the word play is... A lot of times, Jake thinks he's got bars and he can write raps and, you know, he can play semantics with words. The Lord is greater than that, man. You understand? The wine press. He's the harvesting sickle, man. Only one grape got pinched out of that. Jeez. But let's see what happens to the rest. And uh, verse 20. And the wine press was trodden without the city. Right, and the wine press was trodden without the city. The Lord is gonna be drunk with your blood, man. Right. The Lord is gonna have a spiritual drink up, man. Right. Yeah? <laughs> you know Jake likes to get rid of the Jake likes to get with his goose and have a drink up. Huh. Well, the Most High is preparing to have a drink up, man. Yeah. 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 Let him know. Reset bubbles. And, the, and blood came out of the wine press. Right. So notice now it's switched from the wine press into blood. Right. So we can go whichever way we want to go with it. We can either say it's talking about the wine or it's talking about the blood. Depending on how you want to come at us. We're, we're gonna, it's, it's a double meaning. So either way, we're still gonna win. Huh. metaphors. Because we can go either way with it, man. Huh. We can go to the right or we can go to the left. Huh. We can't lose, man. Huh. What the hell is wrong with these people? Always trying to play semantics, trying to trip us up with words. It is impossible. Huh. Because it's a two-edged sword, man. Huh. If I don't cut you with the right, I'm cutting you with the left. Huh. So there's no escape. And blood came out of the white press even unto the horse's bridle. Even unto what? Even, even unto, unto the, the horse's bridle. bridle. That's how much death and destruction is coming out here, oh, man. Yes. Yeah? That's how much death and destruction is coming out here. Uh, it ain't gonna be nothing nice. Nope. And a lot of our people know it. But they got that attitude like uh, a, a Jake. Not even that. <laughs> I've heard Jake say we shall overcome. Wow. That's a proud statement. And this is what they were saying in slavery, man. It's like you're testing the Lord to see how further he can go with his thing. You know? Because every captivity was a tuna from the previous one. The Egyptian captivity. Then the Most High said, Ah, oh, man, these people still didn't learn. Right. Assyrian captivity. They still didn't learn. The Greek captivity. And he was like, raw. They still didn't learn. So he was like, now I'm going to make it even worse. Roman captivity. They still didn't learn. And you know what the Lord said? Now let's go bigger. You know, like the Edomite that was shooting the tree. He first he tried the Glocks. Then he tried the AR-15. The bullet still wasn't going through the tree. And then the Edomite said, let's go bigger. Then he, you keep forgetting the Lord created these devils, you know. So now the Lord is going to give you the big one. The he's gonna give you the big one yeah that's why he's bringing the Edomites from Australia over here why is he sacking them from their holiday camp in Australia because that big piece of land in Australia right all they're doing there is just having parties and getting drunk that's why the Lord sent the fire there because eventually when they become homeless they're gonna have to come back to their natural habitat which is over here in the West man and that's when they're really gonna show that serpent-like, dragon-like spirit, man. The dragon from the garden, which was the serpent, which grew wings to fly. Do you know like that Pokemon, Dratini? When he grows the wings, he turns into dragon air. So the serpent from the garden is the dragon you're reading about in Revelations. That's, he's in his final form. He's evolved, man. That's why we called, that's why I made a video saying, we're gonna put you Edomites in slavery Pokemon style, and they took the video down. <laughs> they didn't even understand. Right. Yeah? I, I lost my. E we even going? unto the horse's bridle, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. Right, so that's a lot of blood, bodies upon bodies, man. We can't stop the death from coming. 
We're just hoping that we ain't gonna be part of it. Okay? We wanna be on the right side of things, man. That's right, huh? That's why we come out here and, you know, we're following what the Most High is instructing us to do through the Spirit, man. Yeah? Reset back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me get some precepts. Wait, Wait no, you had a precept, precept first. Who was the first brother? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all right. First person. Yeah. Right. Um, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus. We go from two, uh, chapter two and verse seven. It says, "Ye that," like it. It says, "Ye that fear Yahweh, wait for His mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall." Uh, let me jump to 11 now and it says for Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy long suffering very pit very pitiful and you and know you know when it says long suffering i had a combo with i done yesterday I, I, I pulled out a precept concerning the lord has us engraving in his palm like a tattoo right everything we do affects the most high directly you understand so when it says the lord is long suffering it means he's put you know you know like how you have an annoying son or an annoying brother that keeps coming in the house he leaves his shoes lying around eat up the whole fridge you know fighting all over he's a, he's annoying that's how you israelites are to the most high he's been putting up with your shit since you came out of egypt man he's been putting up with your abominations man sacrificing swine to your idols and going with the other nations all right profaning your temples which he dwells in he's been putting up with your shit for a long time that's why the scripture says what he is long suffering but there's only so much a man can take that's right. so now he's like man why am i even carrying these people man i'm gonna get rid of you and that's what he's getting ready to do man the rebe the children of disobedience there's that's even right. a law on that if you don't listen to your mother and father, they take you to the elders and they stone you, man. <laughs> and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and same in time of affliction. 12. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. 13. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Well, there you go. Being faint-hearted can get you killed as well. Right. Don't even go to the battlefront if you're faint-hearted. Yeah? If you don't believe the Lord has enough power to deliver you, don't even come to the battle line. Because then the Most High will be like, oh, this guy is afraid of the enemy more than me. I'm more terrible than the enemy, man. Right. That's why the Lord said, blessed is the man that maketh me his fear. Right. Because I'm the ultimate terror. Right. So if you fear me, you ain't gonna fear nobody else. Right. You can do whatever the hell you wanna do as long as you give me my respect, man. Right. That's right. And that's hey, even the drug dealers, the kingpins, that's what they do when they come and visit the block. Because they're the main plug, right? So as long as you keep them happy, you can have the block and, and shot all day long. You upset them, they send the goons in, they clear you out. The most high is worse than that, man keep the most high happy and you can do whatever you want to do right. that's what we're trying literally we're trying to keep the most high happy up that's here right. That's, that's right as long as we keep the lord happy we can do whatever we want you know right. you know that, that they don't that's understand simple. that you know as long as we keep the most high happy simple. we can do a lot of times people see us say, like, man how can these guys even do what they're doing you know why because we're keeping the most high happy that's right. man we ain't trying to keep no queen happy. Uh, we ain't trying to keep no prime minister happy. Uh, uh, we ain't trying uh, to keep you dumb niggas on the block happy. Uh, uh, you niggas that want to be faggots. We ain't trying to keep you happy either. Uh, that ain't what this is about. We ain't trying to keep our own people happy. Anymore. Exactly. Uh, to hell right. with you. To hell with them. Though. Because you don't love each other anyway. So why should we try and keep you happy? For what? So you can hate each other. So you can continue conspiring hatred to one another. Weakness, huh? Pulling each other down. Yeah? We ain't about that. No. And if you want to be in that kind of spirit, you're not going to be part of the new kingdom that's coming. Okay? Because we ain't coming back to this bullshit again once it's done. Right. We're not coming back to this, man. We're moving forward and it's going to stay that way. Yeah, kind of. And it said, Woe well unto you that have lost patience. Right. And what will ye do when your hour? Uh, shall visit you yeah because you get some brothers they get tired of just you know 
you got some brothers they get tired of just doing the same thing like, oh man I'm tired of, I'm tired of coming out in you know yeah that's why you gotta exercise the spirit man and you gotta know when to take a back stance sometimes and when to come back in again in the spiritual gym and have a workout you know what I mean you gotta know how to find the balance yeah exercise the spirit so it doesn't get lazy that's what you gotta do because the spirit is like a muscle man if you don't exercise it it's, it's gonna become obese and you exactly exercise the spirit man exactly use it or lose it the most High didn't give you the talent to sit on it it has to make more money yeah Baba Kusha. 15 they that fear Yahweh will not disobey his words and they that love him will keep his ways right and the reason why a lot of you don't agree with what we're teaching which really we're teaching you how to please the most high right. is That's because good. you hate him right. so now he's going to show you what it means to be his enemy now he's going to show you what it means to be his opposition because you've you've taken up that position of being the opposition now so now you're going to feel the backlash like i was saying earlier on now you're going to feel what it's like to be the enemy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bring it up. And it's nothing nice. Alright? Yeah, where we at? Yeah, next person. This is Jeremiah, chapter 4. Verse 22. Bring it out. For my people is foolish. Did you hear that? It says, My people are foolish. foolish yeah? The fact that you can't accept that the Edomites are beneath you alone shows how foolish you are. The fact that you want to take a bullet so you can lay down with a Becky shows how foolish you are, man. And we need to treat you as such, or we'll be fools as well. Okay, if you want to be a damn dog, we're not going to let you in the house. You can stay in the barn. And when we're ready to give you a bone, we throw it to you. If you want to be laying down with the dogs, that's fine. Keep it outside the yard. Read. They have not known me. They have not known me. Because I keep saying this, a lot of you brothers are confused because of this facade your elders have given you about the Lord. He's the complete opposite of what you're reading about. Your understanding is flawed concerning the Al Bashim Yahweh Shai. I've got the rebellious songs, right? Yeah? You don't understand what your creator is about. Your expectations, okay, is illusional. That's right. He's the complete opposite of what they're teaching you, man. Yeah, let him ride that for a bit yeah, they are sottish children they are what they, they are, are sottish, sottish children. children yeah like for instance an example when we was correcting the brothers concerning certain things to do with the scripture instead of them to be adults and go and study exactly. to show themselves a proof exactly. they started crying like little schoolgirls, man <laughs> when all they had to do was what face the facts if someone is telling you okay something that one plus one is two are you not supposed to go and take one stick two stick put it together and see if it adds up to two how simple is that how simple is it to prove a situation that is being shown to you practically but instead they take the route of just being so it's children man and that perfectly describes how I'm talking to you Israelites in Israel right now. That's right. Tell because you up. see these regular peons, they're not even classified. Yeah, them. Now that you've taken up yourself to be under the umbrella of being an Israelite, now you're being put under the perspective now. That's right. Since you've accepted the gospel, you claim you have. Well, you claim you have. Now the gospel is being taught to you, but you don't want to accept it. Because all these verses in the Bible were being projected to people that knew they were Israelites. Okay? That's why Yahweh said in Matthew uh, 
Luke, now nah, slack here, Luke 12 and 47. Many stripes shall you be beaten with. Because you knew you was an Israelite. You claimed you had the breakdown.